Hey, what's up, YouTube? Let's talk about Bike and Safari. You know, I see a lot of comments about Bike and Safari being bad or that they can't land it. But then I go online and all I do is see bike and players mash on Perry. <laughs> so I want to talk about why Perry is actually good. Then we'll go online and see if we can win matches without blocking using the power of Perry. So let's talk about how to use Perry and why it's good. At first glance, it doesn't seem that good, right? You compare it to a Dragon Punch. It's hard to hit because it only has six active frames and it has no physical hitbox. So it actually loses to some stuff and it doesn't beat projectiles but I think it has two strengths that people aren't talking about so take for example this setup so that's a safe jump you can't DP there and if they don't DP they have to block DP is not very good in this situation, right? But if you take biking for example so I set the opponent to wake up counter same exact setup and you get parried. So it's really good against characters that rely on safe jumps, such as Eno. You might be thinking, oh, well, okay, I can just fake a safe jump, right? So I can do something like this and go for like an empty throw. This actually carries a good amount of risk because you can actually just mash this. And so it kind of sets up this weird like 50-50 game if you try to go for a safe jump. Are they going to be mashing? Are they going to be respecting your safe jump? Or are they going to actually do the safe jump, in which case I can parry? If the opponent has a DP, you don't have to play that game. So parry is kind of unique in aspect, and it shuts down a lot of different offensive approaches that a traditional DP wouldn't, right? The second big benefit, a very common way that you would bait a DP. Let's take Leo, for example. You guys all know it, Leo DPRC. One of the scariest things in the game, right? <laughs> you don't want to be hit by that and you don't even want to block it. One of the most common things that will happen is let's say you get a knockdown with any character, right? But let's say you can backdash and you can make it whiff and then you get a full punch, right? And you just, yeah, you get, you get way too much damage, right? But this actually doesn't work against Biken either, because unlike DP characters, you can actually rapid cancel your reversal on whiff, which is really unique. Biken's the only character in the game that can do that, which is why I think Perry is actually a lot stronger than people give it credit for. So same idea. I go for a set. I wake up Perry. But what you can do is you can just option select the Perry and rapid cancel it. And then you go back and you're completely safe. You kind of have to approach it a little bit differently. There is some counterplay. So one of the things you could do is the delayed button against the parry because the parry, it's not very good when you delay it. You almost always want to do it immediately after wake up because if you delay it, then you're kind of playing the weird guessing game that's not really in your favor. So one thing you can do, let's say set the opponent to wake up parry and you do a delayed 5s or something like that and it, it beats that option but it's really hard to beat wake up parry and something like a wake up jab at the same time so let's say i do the same run up 5s and the opponent does jab i just get hit out of my 5s right the other common thing is you could go for a meaty throw but same thing that loses to jab because of course her jab is five frames and throws uh, can't throw you till the sixth frame. And then the other thing, in some characters, only works for some characters, but of course in the bike and mirror match. Of course the parry is not much of an issue because you can just go for a projectile, which beats the parry. But only a few characters can do that. Uh, you have Eno, you have like Ramathal, and you have a few other like Nago can do clone, but most of the cast can't do it. So against the characters that can't throw a meaty projectile and get good Oki off of, they kind of have to play this weird guessing game. And so that's what we're going to show today is how effective playing that weird guessing game can be. We're going to go into Celestial and we're going to play some ranked matches against a character that doesn't have a projectile they can meet us with. And we're just going to never block. And while I don't think this is optimal, right? You don't want to, you really should not copy the strategy of just not blocking ever is to show you that parry can actually be really effective in deterring people from making you block in the first place. Uh, so we have to try someone that doesn't have a projectile Noki. It's like half the cast, right? So like someone like a May. Oh, perfect. A geo player. Yes, let's go. Okay. Are you ready? This guy has a decent amount of points. So you know, he's good. If I even win one match, I'll be happy. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. But yeah, so never we're either doing parry or mash or jump or backdash on every wake up. We're not blocking. That was good. I see he's already doing like counter safe stuff, right? So he's on the layer that I can like, I can mash out some stuff, stuff. Oh, that was a good. Ah, uh, that actually should not have burst it there. That was just a misplay by me. Yeah. 
All right, that's good. That's good. All right, all right. He wins too many. I'm gonna accuse him of stream sniping. Wait, why did I just drop that? Oh, I parried. Not blocking his G is impossible. No, no, I'm proving you wrong. I'm proving you wrong. All right. Wait, I accidentally blocked. All right, do you know what? That was a. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. All right, this might be harder than I thought. All right, there we go. Let's just run offense. Oh, I accidentally blocked. I'm, I accidentally blocked. I accidentally blocked. Ah, oh, damn. You can't air block too. All right. I get this challenge is harder than I thought. This challenge is actually way harder than I thought. This challenge is way harder than I thought. All right, there we go. I got off the mash though. He is expecting the counter. That's what I'm trying to show you. You guys, you guys don't believe. All right, that doesn't count either. <laughs> God damn it. All right, no blocking this round. I swear to God. All right, good bait on the parry. Oh my God, I accidentally blocked again. All right, good mash. I wouldn't normally, right, I think I'm gonna mash here. There we go, there we go. Oh my god! Alright, let me just land one parry. Alright, see like... Nah. He did that because he's scared of the parry. He's scared of the parry. I think he's gonna be scared of the parry again, so I'm just gonna hold up. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I... Hold up, yep, yep, no meaty, no meaty. There we go, there we go, okay. All right, that was, that was a little tough. I'm not gonna lie. I think that I was carried a little bit by my offense, but I assure you I did minimal blocking there. Oh, a May player, perfect. So I will I will have to block the mini beach ball if he does right, mini right, beach right. ball, right? I actually played this guy earlier today, but he's gonna be like, why is this guy not blocking? Let me, let me show him the power of not blocking. Yeah, backdash, backdash. See, he's, he's already not doing minis, right? We already got him not doing these, that's promising. So we're not gonna start off with counter. Yeah, it's it's hard not to block there, right? So, yep, see, 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 see. My reads are good. Oh god, okay. So he, he's still doing off parry. Wait, I didn't mean to block that. I didn't mean to block that. Okay, that was good. Yeah, he he's he's scared of the parry. Alright, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't burst. Okay, okay, okay. Harry's for the win. Yeah, see? Didn't go for a meaty because he, he was scared of the parry. I'm gonna mash here on wake up again. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's... That's a really tough situation after YRC, because, like, you have to block after YRC. There, mash again. Okay, okay, okay. It goes on, shoot. Right, I think we'll mash to the start of the round again. Definitely not block in the start of the round. Oh, I didn't mean to jump. I mean, I didn't mean to clean the block. I actually tried to mash there. Oh, that was actually a really good whip punish. Yeah, he just backed off. Isn't that crazy? He backed off after his assault because he is scared of the RPS. 
Ah, uh, I didn't mean. Damn. <laughs> Alright. I accidentally blocked too much. Yeah, there are situations it's really hard to get by not blocking, right? Okay, okay. We still got a chance to bring this back. Wait, what? what was up with this lag, bro? Oh my god. Wait, I can whip punch at that. What is up with this lag? Let's go. I don't know what happened with that lag spike, but it it worked out in my favor. Bro, what's going on? 294 milliseconds? Alright, anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching a YouTube video. <laughs> Hey, if you like this kind of content, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Um, if you want to see more content like this, uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. <laughs> I guess I got disconnected. <laughs> That's a perfect ending to the YouTube video, I think. <laughs> what the fuck happened? All right.